Action. And we're back. Well, due to, a, uh, due to a scheduling error by the network, we will not have time for Emma Kai briefs, as we call them, but we will be taking questions from around the table. Uh, who would like to go first? Questions? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, you're such an expert on it. How many times have you seen it? Right. Is that directed to both? Both? Oh, okay. I have actually seen it. Uh, I actually have to see it on my computer. So I cannot tell you the medical number, but it's up there. Small part. Forty, sixteen, seventy, maybe even. And you I directed it. Actually. All right. Next question. I would actually ask if they were aware of the existential image they were creating, creating when they were doing this. Because some things are made by mistake, but I mean, sometimes, very rarely, I mean, people are aware of what they're doing, and I just want to know, were they aware of what kind of impact they set in my mind? And what would you say? We saw them again. We, we had lunch yesterday. I didn't, um, I wasn't hungry. <laughs> um, but if I, if I were to see them tonight, I would probably ask them what's for dinner. <laughs> Question? Oh, can I buy it on DVD? Would you, would you burn it for me? Huh? Would you burn it for me? Because I want to watch it. Just of like course. My own. I thought you had my own opinion about it. Alright, yeah, we'll do. I can send it to you as well. Why have I not seen it? You haven't? I have not. What? We must Hold on, excuse me. <laughs> no, we have to record it. We have to record it. But there's people here. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Um, we I don't have time for one more question and then we'll go to our closing argument. Question? One more question. One more question. One more question. Isabel? Would you I'm the camera woman. Huh? No, here. Okay, <laughs> I believe that the question was, and, and I'll rephrase it here so it's a bit more um, accessible. If you were, um, if you had the opportunity to have been a part of Two Girls One Cup, would you have joined it? I mean, this, to be part of a creative team of that sort of endeavor, you know, of course. <laughs> now, since you obviously were a part of it, if you, someone else were directing it, and you had the opportunity to be one of the women in there, what do you feel to object? I don't know. I, I really love chocolate ice cream. Actually, actually, if you take a look at the blonde one, I just realized this right now. She is Chloe Madison. <gasps> is she? She really? just hit the fan. <laughs> Alright. No, um, there really is a porn star now. <laughs> really? Really? There really is. All right, well, now we will go, to, to we'll go to our closing <laughs> argument. We will, up with uh, we will let we will let Chloe close. So we um, I just want to say that I mean, you can make all these arguments, but all it really means is that humanity is flawed. We are always, you know, trying to achieve this perfection. And I mean, go go for perfection. But, you know, to say that, you know, you are grounded because, you know, it is flawed. I just, I think that's what you're saying. And your closing argument. At the last word, what would say? Well. It's been free zone. Having been a part of the, the creative team and uh, production and development, I have to say it was the most mindless. Production yet, and I really do believe that, that any reaction <laughs> to it that is deeper than disgust <laughs> is simply a psychosomatic reaction, possibly to a difficult childhood. <laughs> but but I, I I don't know my opponent personally, and I'm not I'm not implying anything. And for what you like, but. That's, that's my, my, my right. Well, I would like to thank Mr. Martin Gonzalez and Ms. Chloe Madison <laughs> for their uh, participation in this debate. And uh, we certainly hope to have stimulated you all, intellectually, of course, um, and have a wonderful night.